bloody view out there now in the sun. <laughs> what are you doing? Filming. All right, people. You know the kitchen is my favourite place. Dad is currently cot blocking my cooking at the moment. But yeah, you're right. It's a nice view, isn't it? The kitchen is my domain, son. And don't you forget it. Is that some kind of sick joke? All right, guys, I'm gonna be locking up a high protein bulgari salad, okay? First time I've done it, so wish me luck. So, protein sauce, I'm going for some chickpeas. By the way, I've made this before, it tastes amazing. Chickpeas, got a whole onion, which I'm gonna dice up. Got some nice, big, chunky tomatoes. And in here, I've got some good old bulgari which it should start simmering, hopefully, if I remember to turn it on. Turn it on now. Oh, and I almost forgot, I need to get some coriander. For those of you out there that hate, why do so many people hate coriander? I just don't understand. It's like, it's probably my favorite herb, to be honest. Best way to do it, don't buy the fresh stuff. You can buy these little frozen packs. So obviously, I, like, I try to buy all my fruit and veg frozen where possible because one, it lasts as long as you want, and two, you get a lot more bang for your buck, so you'll get about 400 grams of frozen blueberries, whereas if you buy fresh, you're only gonna get like 200 grams for the same price, so yeah. Little tip from Melly, get yourself frozen shit. Okay, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Tomato, <laughs> what is wrong with me? All right, just rinse the tomatoes. Why do I do it in an American accent as well? Tomatoes. Okay, I've just rinsed my tomatoes and I need to chop them up. I'm gonna chop this onion up as well. So just into like nice big chunky cubes. Got my big salad bowl ready and that's about it for now. Okay, just whilst I'm chopping away then guys, I wanted to go over some funny questions I've been asked this week. Let me just shuffle over. So obviously I'm doing this whole vegan lifestyle. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And some of the things I'm like being asked, like, where do you get your protein from? Like, how are you getting enough calcium into your body? Can I come tree hugging with you? Maybe back in the day, I would have probably asked the same sort of questions, but it's not until you delve a little bit deeper, start doing your own research, um, reading up on, you know, the effects of eating animal protein or the benefits of having a plant-based diet that you start to unravel a lot of things that, unless you go and do that research, you, you're never gonna know and, and realize that are there. So, the answer is, just eat plants and eat a variety of them, the whole, whole foods. For example, I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos, someone was like, where are you gonna get your calcium from? Well, 100 grams of whole milk, so a glass of whole milk, say, has less calcium in, it actually has less protein in, than 100 grams of kale. Now, by all means, I'm not gonna recommend someone who's eating 100 grams kale because you're not gonna get a full essential amino profile, which is what we need to grow, develop, repair, etc. But you combine some kale with some other vegetables, some other whole foods, I don't know, some beans, some rice, then you're gonna to start to build that amino profile and yeah, you've got yourself a decent meal. Most sources of protein, no matter how lean they are, they're gonna have some fat content and that's what bangs up your calories. Remember one gram, I don't know why I'm waving the knife, but hey, one gram of fat is nine calories. So just remember that. So the bulgari is, yeah, simmer away nicely now. It'll take about 10, 12 minutes once it starts to simmer. So by the time I finish chopping these up, see how slow I am, then hopefully the bulgari will be done. So this is a really, really good, like I said, high protein, balanced, low calorie, nutrient and calorie dense meal. And again, going back to that question, three second rule, going back to that question, or some of the questions that people will be asking me, like how am I getting my protein in? Again, plants. A lot of people don't even realize that all protein is initially made by plants. Plants are the only thing that are able to um, take nitrogen from the air and turn that into amino acids. So convert that into amino acids. So, I mean, essentially growing plants to then feed animals or eating um, animals that have grazed with plants, it's, it's unnecessary. We can cut out the middleman, being the animals, and yeah, go direct to the plants and eat them. So, like I said, if you wanna find out more about this sort of stuff, it's all on the internet. You can find the, um, you can find all the scientific re research, all the hard factual evidence that suggests we should be eating a plant-based diet. Again, 
like I said on all my social media platforms, I'm not going to sit here and say, why are you eating meat? I ate meat for 28 years of my life and I enjoyed it. You know, I like it, but I was 100% you make way more than I needed to, consuming way more protein than I needed to. And I feel genuinely a lot better on the inside from eating a plant-based diet in comparison to you know just looking good on the outsides so i've got 450 grams of beautifully cho oh shit it's going everywhere going into the bowl okay 450 grams i just got the like the larger vine tomatoes they're just really juicy really sweet as you just sort of poured all the juice everywhere so i need to tie that up the bulgur wheat is now perfectly cooked, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna drain this and then rinse it with cold water to le and leave that to cool. Onions going into the bowl. So tomato so far, just one large onion going in. I've got a can, a whole can of chickpeas. So beans, pulses, anything like that, grains are quite high in protein. This served uh, 240 grams, okay? Per 80 grams, there's 6.2 grams of protein, 13 grams of carb, of which 0.4 sugars and one gram of fat. So for 240 grams, what's that? 80, 160, 240, so 6, 12. You're getting about 20 grams of protein and you're getting uh, 40 grams of carbohydrate, only three grams of fat. So I'm gonna bang the whole can in. That's my source of protein in this meal. Lastly, before I add the bulgur wheat, I'm gonna add a generous helping of good old coriander. It's pre-chopped, so literally just gonna sprinkle that in, and then that can go back in the freezer. So back in the day, I would have probably put some olive oil in this. There's there's no need for me to put it in here basically. It's gonna bump up the calories. There's a there's a saying out there from um, someone. Oh my eyes are starting to sting. A guy called. Um, John McDougall and it is the fat you eat is the fat you wear and when you do look into how your body metabolizes fat and the amount of fat that is in in these processed animal foods and again things like olive oil anything like that it's no no wonder why we it's no wonder why there is an obesity epidemic if you if you're putting fat into your body and it's, it's not going to be used, there's no need to need for it, then you're just going to store it. It's as simple as that. Fat is very easily converted into fat because it is fat. Like, it's as simple as that. All right, last thing to go in is the bulgur wheat. Ah, it's dripping everywhere again. So I rinsed this with cold water for a little while and just left it to rest so it's nice and cold. You don't want to put it in when it's warm. Just make sure it's cold before you add it to everything else. And the only other thing I'm gonna to add to this, is just a squeeze of lemon, and then I'm gonna go devour it. So I did 120 grams raw weight, dry weight, of the bulgur wheat, and 60 grams is gonna give you 180. It basically, there's about four portions worth in here. Um, as you've got the carbohydrates coming from the chickpeas as well. So th this whole mix, looks beautiful, smells beautiful, just need to add some lemon. It's gonna do you four meals. Now this meal is ideal pre or post workout. It's gonna give you a lot of quality macro and micronutrients. It's gonna fuel your workouts, give you loads of vitamins and minerals, and yeah, nourish your body ultimately. You, you, why would you want to, and like, don't get me wrong, I've, I've been so guilty of this in the past, promoting just having a protein shake and some like, like waxy maize starch or oats or something like that post-workout, whatever the supplement companies offer, you know, as a carb source. But when you think logically about it, like you, on a cellular level, you want to get as many micronutrients, as many vitamins, minerals in there, antioxidants, quality whole foods, carbo like good quality carbohydrates, sources of protein into your body, you know. You're just not going to get that from having a protein shake. And it's whey as well. So if you watch my other video on dairy, then you'll, like again, I've done this all in the past, so you have three or four protein shakes a day from whey protein, so by all means, it's up to you what you wanna put into your body, what you wanna fuel your workouts with, your recovery, but I'm telling you now, I'm recovering so much quicker, I'm getting way leaner um, on this plant-based diet, my strength's going up, everything is just good so far, like just, I just feel so much better in myself, so, 
Give this recipe a go if you do need to, if you feel you need to bump your protein content up, you could always add something like kidney beans into this as well, or have a vegan protein shake. I've been using my proteins vegan blend. Tastes amazing, I'll put the link below if you want to check that out. And you can use my code BODYIN8, again I'll pop it below if you want to, yeah, make some savings, buy yourself some. All I'm going to do, add a squeeze of lemon, that's done. So this is what we are working with people. And last but not least, let's give this a good squeeze of lemon. Holy oh, shit balls, I forgot to add the cucumber. I literally can't believe I forgot to put the cucumber in. Right, it's in, finally. That's what she said, Wee. I knew it didn't look quite right. That's it, finished. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'm gonna go and devour this. Obviously not the whole bowl, but I'm absolutely marvin after my big leg session earlier, so I need to refuel. If you wanna see more videos like this guys, just leave me a comment below because ultimately I wanna create the content that you want to see. So I'm not gonna know what you wanna see unless you leave me a comment. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm nearing a thousand. That's a lie, I've only just hit about 500, but I'm feeling optimistic, I'm feeling good, and I reckon we'll be at a thousand very soon. Anyways, thanks for your continued support. I hope you're enjoying the videos, and I will catch you next time round. Oh, keep it real. Peace. <laughs>